Hey guys, Adiotorium here, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an instant party swap system in RPG Maker MZ. This also works in RPG Maker MV. It's very simple, very easy, so without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is to make a switch. So let's go to the control switch and make a switch called party swap. Okay, now that, now that we have our switch, click apply, and this switch is used to activate the common event that runs the party swap system. So now we go straight to the common event, go to the common event, and we make a common event called party swap, or any name that you want. The common event will run in parallel and it will be activated when the switch party swap, the switch that we made before, is on. Click OK, and now we have our common event. Now, this common event is the backbone of the party swap system. And to make this whole system, the first thing that we have to do is to decide what key or button that will be used to swap between the party members. To do this, we go to the conditional branch, for tab and check on the button. Now, there's a whole list of buttons here that you can choose, or you may also use the script conditional branch if you want to add custom key binds or use custom or use custom key to swap between the party members. I'll make the video about adding custom key in the future. As for now, I'll use the page up button to swap between the party members. Make sure that the button is activated by being triggered. If you choose any other than this, then I'm afraid it won't go so well. So just stick on the is being triggered activation. Then click OK. Now inside the conditional branch, we will write a script. The script is not much, but it will take some time to type it. So I'm going to cut the part where I'm typing the script and I will show it and explain to you guys the script after I finish typing it. Okay, so this is the script. This script is the main part of this system. So make sure you guys get it right. If you want to copy and paste it, I provided the script on the description below. Now, as you can see here, there are three conditional statements. All of these are checking the amount of the party members in the party or to put it simple, the party size. RPG Maker has a default party size of 4. So I made this system following the default RPG Maker design. If you use plug plugins that expands the party size, then you may need to tweak some things. But the logic shouldn't be too much different from the script call here. Okay, so we got our conditional statements here that will check if there are 2 to 4 uh, party members inside the party. If there is only one party member, or more than four party members, then the script won't run. Now, as you can see here, if the party has two members, then it will swap the position of the first party member with, with the second party member. And if the party has three members, then it will swap. It will first swap the position of the first party member with the second party member, then swap the position of the third party member with the second party member and the same logic applies for the four party member here and that's basically it just add an exit event processing here apply okay and then to make sure that the party swap switch is on we make an event set it to parallel go to the control switch and set the party swap switch to on of course uh, in your game you want to add it in a common event or at the very start of your game, you can also um, disable the instant party swap mechanic by turning off this switch. And yeah, this is just for um, example in this one, so I use a parallel event. The event will uh, set on the sound switch A, and in sound switch A, it will be become an empty event. Okay, so now we'll test it. Save and play. Okay, so now I, I am already in the game and we'll test it. As you can see here, we have four party members 
and if I press page up, it should swap. Let's see. Okay, it swap. Page up again. It swap again. Page up again. It swap again. It works. As you can see, our insert party swap party member swap system is done. But it will be much better if we add some swapping animation when we swap between the characters. So let's add that. Let's close this and then go to the animation tab. I actually already make um, animation, uh, a simple uh, swapping animation. This one right here. It's basically just the default heal one animation, but resized and repositioned. See? I will be using this animation as my uh, swapping animation. So we go to the common event again, and on top of the script, we play the animation. Here, set it to player, and let's play our animation. Make sure that you don't check this uh, this box. Just let it empty, and that's it. Let's test it again. Okay, now we are in the game. We are going to test it again. This time, when we swap between the party members, there will be a little swapping animation happening in our player. So, let's test it. Page up. There you go. Page up. Page up. Page up. And that's it. Our instant party swap system, without using any plugins, is finished. And that's all for today, guys. I hope this video helped. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.